already know that the SJW runs Star Wars stuff is both sexist and racist, but they're still at it. Hello everyone, I am MechaRandom42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy, huge collar outer of the SJW hypocritical BS that we all have to go through on a day to day basis. And why am I lumping this in with the SJW stuff? Well, ever since Star Wars had condoned and approved and stood by flat out comments, comments that were derogatory towards people of an entire shade of an entire ethnic makeup and group, actually multiple ones, multiple ones. They're at it again. And this time it is their subreddit. We're using the Bounding Into Comics article because they're also affected by this as is most members of our community, including me. And I'll get to how I'm included in this and many of our other female and diverse is the word they like to use. So we're gonna use it, diverse anti anti fan messages th yeah the, the the anti's there twice for a reason we're the anti anti fan movement we are a consumer advocacy group and this just proves once again once again how these these people who are trying to silence anyone who calls out this stuff are just a bunch of istophobes themselves this is one more way that they do this now i've done videos i've done videos before on how a lot of my friends in the community, people like Doomcock, people like Jeff at World Class Bullshitters, a lot of those people have been called out in articles, particularly the Esquire article, Wank. saying that it's a bunch of old white toxic man baby troll it's stuff. You know the the usual spiel, the usual crap, the stuff that they like to label anybody, anybody who doesn't toe the line, who doesn't quote and recite back the narrative of what. Um, white man bad, diversity good, yay, hooray, we're so proud of ourselves and are patting ourselves on the back for focusing more on the superficial than, you know, the stories, the characters, the fun, the excitement, having an adventure in space with a bunch of space wizards with laser swords. I'm a bigger Star Wars fan than that. I'm just, I'm just saying that that's how they think of it. That's really, they, they really, really think so little of these properties. And this just proves again, again, that they only focus, they only focus on their little poster children that they, sorry, I'm putting it that way, but that's how they think of my friends in this community. They're the Star Wars subreddit, saltier than crate, bands, bounding into comics, fandom menace, and others, and others. There's, there, we're getting into a point here. You will notice a pattern with all of these channels. And I'm going to point out how lumping all of these channels together it's just an example that they can use to say, look, they're a bunch of toxic man babies. They're a bunch of white dudes. Me? There's a little backstory here. These are actually not new rules here. In fact, they're some of our oldest rules. I think most of our OG salt miners already know this stuff. I've seen them try to help inform and remind the many of tens of thousands of new miners who've subbed this past year. The moderator provides a number of links to the subreddit's rules and previous posts as well as the current subreddit issues. Basically, they are banning any mention of any fandom menace channels. They are banning any videos. They are banning any links to our content on the Star Wars subreddit. A lot of us have also experienced this, myself included, with the subreddits from the Star Trek communities, I believe. Uh, the Facebook groups. I'm not on the Facebooks and I'm not on the subreddits or any of that stuff and I probably should be. But I have heard that we've also been removed from the Star Trek ones as well, especially myself, Doomcock, and Neurotic. The big three that, and Midnight's Edge, I suppose. So the big four that tend to cover all of the Star Trek. We also get lumped in because we also cover Star Wars because we are fans of these things. <laughs> all of us, all of us, to some degree or another. And as much as they keep pissing us off and keep telling us they don't want our money, I'm still buying Baby Yoda's because I think he's goddamn adorable, even though I'm not watching The Mandalorian, because let's face it, they have really crapped all over my enjoyment of their properties. They really have. And they keep doing that, and they're not going to win over any more fans. They're just going to keep losing and losing and losing us, and they're only further proving how sexist and racist they all crapping are with this stuff, with this stuff. So basically, they're saying... Anyone who criticizes uh, The Last Jedi stuff, anybody they categorize as clickbait, any any sort of that, that, that's every fucking video on YouTube. Every video on YouTube 
is a clickbait sort of title. You want to make it as enticing to the eyes. So you, what do you do? You click it. And if you guys do like my content and I am enticing the eyes, please hit the like button, subscribe, share my content. I really, really appreciate it. They're not doing us any favors, especially if you are a woman or a diversity checkbox, according to their eyes, because that's all they see you as. There's a reason why the only people that they list on this list are their quote unquote white male poster children for this so they can go see look it's just a bunch of old toxic old white dudes just like we've been reciting because why people like me break their narrative people like me disrupt and confuse them and then they turn into a bunch of reen crying psychopaths <laughs> no no more reen crying psychopaths we're done with them they want to turn us against each other they want to divide the and I'm surprised they even included. They'll probably realize that they made a mistake once they realize that they have clownfish on there. Pirates and princesses, which is, which is basically clownfish TV. There's a woman invo involved with that. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? They'll probably remove her from the list really, really quickly. Geeky sparkles over there. What I'm surprised is Forbes. Forbes, because yeah, Forbes does incite a lot of debate and discussion, especially when they flip their little message and say, Rise of Skywalker stunk on ice. From here on out, anyone posting Phantom Menace or clickbait. So yes, look, look who they have. Geeks and Gamers, Doomcock, Midnight's Edge, Bounding into Comic, Cos Cosmic Book News, Cosmic Book News, Princesses and Pirates, Clownfish TV, Comic Artists, Pro Secrets, and Forbes. You know, and we got this covered. We got this covered. They do get, like, I don't think they're a Phantom Menace. I think they're a troll site just designed to get us to talk about stuff. So maybe, maybe they do categorize them as clickbait. Here's the thing, though. Aside from Clownfish TV, I don't see Anna, that Star Wars girl on the list. I don't see Jesse Milestone. I don't see any of the Dark Council channels. We don't see Fatal J. We don't see Lord Callus. We don't see Mark with a C. We don't see any except for Clownfish TV. Of, of And I think that might be that might be a mistake. And not only that, Clownfish does not identify as Phantom Menace. They are their own individual channel. And we, we all like them. You guys probably subscribe to them, too. The point is, they like to use, they like to use these examples just to, just to blame, blame, and see, and point to, they see, look at all these toxic white dudes, except for, you know, right there, princesses and pirates, right there. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the rest of us don't get any negative press or anybody coming out to just check us out to see if we are the clickbait that they're reporting. In particular, links to clickbait sites, but not limited to. So that includes a lot more of us. But notice why they're not mentioning a lot of us. A lot of the rest, a lot of the more diverse fandom menace channels. It is because we hurt the narrative and then they realize, oh shit, they're full of crap. I'm surprised, like I said, I'm surprised Clownfish is even on there. And I believe that the point of them ignoring a lot of our channels is so that we can't accidentally have somebody in their thread to see, hey, well, that's that's a woman. What do you mean it's a toxic white dude? And I do believe that they're a lot harsher. I mean, I've certainly received some pretty harsh things and messages in my day, which I can't even go into, even though they're my own experiences. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is this just one more way to silence the actual diverse voices who are criticizing this crap because it doesn't look good for them? Or am I reading a little bit too much into this? And it was a slow news day and I just wanted to be yelling about something. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42 and I'll see you guys on the next video, live stream or ever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.